Hello everyone, welcome to BIMMODELER.COM. In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing how to create contacts and their fittings. We'll be discussing how to create a new type of contact, how to create a size which is not available in the system. You can create them. You'll be able to create a contact between the two panels and you'll be creating a contact whichever, wherever the place you need it. The, the thing is that uh, most of the projects are uh, below LOD 300, 350. So in that case, people used to avoid drawing a contents. In some of the projects like drawing a prefabricated buildings, prefab constructions, they'll be using the contents modeling as accurate as possible, as designed, as modeled, as built. So that's what in, in industry it is happening. So most of the times, most of the pro project at this time in 2022. So we are avoiding context because these all are small elements can be modeled in anywhere needed. But in few projects they are using it. With that, so we'll be modeling the contact fittings also, contact boxes also if needed. And from that, let's start. I hope you remember this place which are we created in the plant room, couple of panels we placed it. I like to connect a contact between these two panels. So I'm going to the section view and you'll be able to see two panels are there. They're an equal height. If you select the one of the panel that, which is a lighting panel, you'll be able to see a right side, a plus symbol with the circle. The symbol indicates that it's a contact symbol. On the other side, you will be able to see a square with a plus symbol. It indicates that power connector. Okay, on this right side, you'll be able to see this connector. But I'm trying to connect these two elements. But when I when I select it, you can see both of them in different height. You just right click on them and use draw contact from face. When you are selecting elements like this, and it will ask us to select what is the position of this connection. I like to keep it in the same places. If needed, you can move your connector from one place to the other place, like this, whatever the corners that you need it. In my case, I like to keep it in the center, like this, and finish it. When I do that, you'll be able to see that the connectors are coming along, and I will be able to in the right side, I'll be able to connect it here. I like to keep size as standard as possible because the type which we are selecting, which is not listing the size what we needed. Let me change this into 41. I'll be trying to connect to the right side. The panel, if you see the connectors, it's automatically getting positioned in where we need it. Let's say finish. If you wanted to make sure that the connections are happening, use the tab key on the contact. Two panels will be highlighted, selected. With this, you can understand the connectors are done connection. And from this place too, we have connected here. But the existing connections remains in the same place. You can right click on this phase again, draw contact if you need multiple connection of contacts. And in the same place, and the connections are intersecting like here, finish and finish. Once it is done, so I like to make a connection uh, to the roof side. So let's and move it to the other side of the wall. Let me make the connection from the left side and rising up. And make sure that the fittings are allowing us to join. Otherwise, we won't be able to draw a connection between them. So the reason we have the settings of creating a nominal radius which is 20 millimeter 
usually cables usually used to have the bending radius so based on that we have the settings of some radius values for these fittings okay let it be as it is and let me move this to the top and let me take this draw contact in the plan view right click draw contact in this direction and I'm going to drop this to 500 millimeter if if I need it I can move it as much as nearer and select the elements go to 3d section box and see the elements are corrected I don't need these connections I will leave it as it is in that place similarly you will be able to create couple of connections wherever you need it for that you have to go to the systems and you will be able to see parallel pipe connections so in this case similar to the parallel pipe connections we have parallel contacts I like to go with if you see that after selecting the pipe you will be able to see it moves on left and right which means horizontal numbers are 2 if I'm changing that to 4 numbers and reducing the distance to 100 you could see the connections are happening on the sides use the tab key select all the contact layouts and it says that the connections there was not enough room to place the fittings because it's going outside of it let us make this exercise outside I need it for only these sides and this side use the trim and extend command TR make a connection So this is how you could connect your fittings as a parallel context. Once it is done, you can see it in the plan view and section views. If you need it, you can select the elbow and move it center of the wall. And go to the section view. If you want to place a box, a blank box, you can go to the fittings. These are one of the contact fittings. So it comes as contact fittings. By default it shows elbows and T's. Even you will be able to see the PVC contact box here. I'll be placing one box in this place and I'll be making connections from this end to this panel. And when you're trying to touch it, so it will ask us to so which side you want the connections the resulting angle between the box and the panels are not matching so it won't make us to connect it in my case I'll, I like to keep it as it is and we can make the connections at site work I hope this box will be outside of our extension okay so this is the reason you can see that the box connected outside the placed in got placed outside to the wall let me go to the plan view and see where it is use the align command align it inside the box and now if I try to connect it it will make a connections draw contact now if you see that the connections happening in this place now all together it's set so this is how you will be able to create your contact connections in your Revit model and when you need a new type of contact there are settings available do remember manage 
and MEP settings. This is going to be a electrical settings. Under that, you'll be able to see contact settings and sizes. You can create your new type of, of standard fittings and standard contact types if you need it. Create that and define your own size from this place. Using the table that you get from the manufacturer, you can fill it in this place. A new size will be created. Once the sizes are defined, you can create your type here. Use the duplicate button and create your type as, for example, Phenolex. And whatever the type, new type that you created will be listed here. In this case, let me keep it as EMT. And you have to make their manufacturer's catalog use their catalog and you have to create fittings and assign them here. The new type will be created and listed in this place. So that's it for this tutorial. If I left out anything, so do remind me in the comment sections. I will be able to add a separate video and do follow bimodeler.com and see you on the next tutorial.